In today's Leader Feeder, we'll talk about three tips to have employees perceive that management cares about them. One of our clients had a problem. The scores on their most recent employee survey came in, and one of the questions that scored too low was a question of whether management cares about me as an employee. When they got a focus group of employees together and asked them why was the score so low, their answer was pretty simple. Management would tend to come out on the shop floor to solve a problem and then head right back into the office without, without acknowledging or talking to any of the employees. So the solution was pretty simple. And it's your first tip today. Apply the 5 and 10 rule. Now this comes out of the hospitality industry and that means in a hotel if you go by a staff member and you come close enough to them they're taught to basically say good morning and how are you doing. So anyone within five feet of you on the shop floor deserves a greeting and everyone within 10 feet deserves an acknowledgement, perhaps a nod or a wave. Applying this simple rule increased employee morale and the results on their next employee survey. Second, one of the sources of frustration for team members is when their issues and concerns aren't heard, acknowledged, addressed, or resolved. With managers being so busy, it's easy to take too long to get back to employees, and over time that resentment builds and it can even lead to a union drive. Managers need to understand employee concerns and frustrations and ensure they are surfaced by the supervisors and that answers get back to the employee in a timely manner. And number three is keeping people in the loop. If you have gossip in your organization, you'll likely realize that most of the gossip is work or business related. Who's getting transferred where? Will we be working overtime on Saturday? Or is business picking up or slowing down? Managers need to keep the communication going in multiple ways. First, supervisors have to communicate the latest news and information to their teams. Then managers need to be visible to the employees and have conversations. And finally, the manager could conduct a group or a town hall meeting to cover important information. In one of our clients, we helped by creating a briefing sheet so that all the managers and supervisors would deliver the same information consistently. It reminds me of a colleague of mine who worked as a factory supervisor on the shop floor. In the morning management meeting, they talked about an important new customer and how it was going to be great to focus on the quality and get that order out on time. My colleague went down to his work group and told them, guys, this is an important new order. We need to really work on the quality and make sure it's on the truck on time. Other supervisors in the same meeting, though, didn't bother communicating any of that information to their team. That's a missed opportunity. Creating an environment where employees feel that management cares about them is fairly straightforward, but it does take time and effort, even when the manager has a busy agenda. Creating a positive work environment yields better safety, increased operating results, and reduced turnover. It's important that employees feel that management cares about them, and a few simple actions can make a big difference. For more resources on how to be a more effective leader, visit us online at frontlineleadership.com.